Taoiseach, uh, I'm sure you'll agree um, that the uh, morale of Angarda Shikana has taken a hammering over the last number of years and that morale is quite low among many members in the force. And there's been many issues uh, that have achieved high public profile, culminating of course in the industrial relations dispute that almost led to an unprecedented strike by Angarda Shikana uh, only over a week ago. Uh, and it really brings to question uh, the administration of justice in the country, the competency of that, and the apparent sense of dysfunctionality in terms of how issues are handled in relation to Angarda Shikana uh, in the justice portfolio. The latest um, controversy that the Guardian now mired in is, relates to the vacancies for chief superintendent positions in Angarda Shikana. There was a competition held almost a year ago in December of 2015. Uh, and arising out of that on the 26th of May, uh, the successful applicants were public, published uh, in Garda headquarters. 26th of May, 25th of May, sorry, 18 people were notified by letter of their successful selection to the position of Chief Superintendent. Um, there are very significant vacancies uh, across the force. Uh, in Cork West, for example, there's a vacancy for Chief Superintendent, the Special Detective Unit, the Roads Policy Unit, the Technical Bureau the Crime Policing Administration Unit, the Central Vetting Unit, the Operational Support Unit, the Dublin Metropolitan Regional Office, the Garda Reserve and Internal Affairs, uh, and so on. And uh, the government eventually decided to appoint 10 uh, and decided not to appoint the remaining um, eight. Uh, despite the fact that the government accepted the legitimacy of the competition and the legitimacy of the panel uh, that was selected as a result of that um, particular competition. The remaining eight were not um, appointed uh, and they would have of course legitimate expectation in terms of, uh, of being appointed. But that kind of thing damages morale within a force and if you look at the O'Higgins report for example which looked into the whole Cavan Monaghan district it was very strong on the issue of supervision um, of people in senior responsible positions. Uh, being there to make sure that mistakes didn't get made down along the line and that proper standards and so on applied. And here you have had vacancies now for quite some time. And the issue, Taoiseach, is this, that the competition took place under the 2005 Act, under Section 13, which is the government's responsibility to appoint. The Policing Authority Act, the Act establishing the new Policing Authority, was passed in December of 2015. And Section 12 of that Act, I understand, the regulations pertaining to that, which would give that body, the, the promotional responsibilities to supers and chief superintendents, has not yet uh, come into being or is not in force, it's, uh, almost a full 12 months on. Now, the transition, there's a, always a transitional uh, situation between the old law and the new law, but it's the government's responsibility to appoint in accordance with the act that, that, that is the law of the land. So we have paralysis in the appointment of judges and we're now having paralysis and indecision in relation to the appointment of senior Gardaí to very senior sensitive positions. It's damaging Taoiseach, in my view, to the force, and it further compounds already mind. serious issues pertaining to Angola Shikana. Can you please explain, Taoiseach, uh, why we are where we are in terms of, of the failure to appoint uh, these people to vacant positions at senior level? Thank you, Martin. I will explain. The, um, the establishment of the policing authority uh, earlier this year was actually the most fundamental change made in the uh, Garda Shikana since the foundation of the state. Uh, the setting up of the independent police authority was to oversee the performance by the Garda Shikana of its relations in respect of uh, policing services. It has already commenced its work and is holding regular meetings. The transfer of this particular function is a major signal about the intent of government not to, hand, not to have the hand of politics in any of the appointments to senior positions of the Gardaí for perception and for reality. The, the Thornish's clear preference here is that the authority should have the opportunity to exercise this function as soon as can be. This will give obviously new confidence to the oversight uh, arrangements that are in place and to the role of the policing authority itself. Now, that said, I agree that there, there, there should be no undue delay. And the Thornish is anxious about this in filling existing vacancies and that will be kept under, under a very close review. Now, let me say this. 
Section 12 of the Garda Shikana Policing Authority and Miscellaneous Provisions Act of 2015 provided for the transfer of the appointment of persons to the senior ranks of Ungarda Shikana to the policing authority. That was the function and the intent and the purpose of setting up the Act. That, that function transfers to the policing authority on, uh, uh, by or on the 1st of December of this year, a few weeks hence. And there is a public uh, consultation at present. And in the interim, the appointment of persons to the senior ranks does remain a matter for government. Now, earlier this year, at the request of the Guard, the Commissioner, the government did make a number of appointments to senior ranks uh, to fill vacancies. The government appointed four members to the rank of Assistant Commissioner on the 24th of May. The government appointed 10 appointments to the rank of Chief Superintendent and 18 to the rank of Superintendent on the 13th of July. Now, your party queried the government as to why these appointments were being made. And I remember having to give instructions to explain to your party that the government had made a decision that we would transfer this responsibility and authority to the policing authority, and you quite rightly queried why government were making these appointments back in May and July. But those appointments, uh, Deputy Martin, were drawn in order of merit from promotion panels that were formed on foot of competitions held by the Garda Commissioner in accordance with the Garda Regulation Act of 2006. The policing authority was actually consulted on the proposal to fill those vacancies and it did support the filling of them on the nomination of the government as provided to them by the Commissioner up to the limit of the agreed strength as approved by the Thornishta and the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform under the Employment Control Framework, known as ECF. So the Thornishta was informed by the Commissioner that in September now a, super, a Chief Superintendent retired, and this together with the recent departure of an Assistant Commissioner to take up a post abroad brings the number of vacancies in the senior ranks to three, oh including one at Superintendent level. So the uh, the position now is that the, uh, the, employment, uh, the employment control framework will now be increased and as and from the 31st of December, the pol independent policing authority will be in a position to make those arrangements and those appointments. And I assume, Las Cancola, that the uh, independent police authority are readying for that uh, opportunity. Well, Michael, uh, Teacher, you haven't told me anything new here. You basically repeated what I said, probably in different terminology. Bottom, li bottom line was, Taoiseach, we queried why Section 12 wasn't commenced. It's taken a full 12 months to commence it. Why have the competition? Why write out to 12, 18 people that you're successful and only appoint 10? That's the bottom line, Taoiseach, here. There's one law, the 2005 Act is currently in situ in terms of promotions of superintendents and chief superintendents. The Policing Authority is a new act that we support, and we support the idea that it would be responsible for, promotional, for promotions to, the, to senior ranks of Ungarda Shikana. But it hasn't yet been commenced. Why hasn't it been commenced? Why has it taken it 12 months to get, that, uh, to get your act together in relation to that particular section of the Policing Authority Act? It speaks to a dysfunctionality at the heart of the Justice Administration that we've all been witnessing in different facets and in different manifestations. And the latest, of course, is uh, we can't appoint judges now either because we want more reform. And the bottom rule and the bottom line is, in terms of administration of law is that the existing law is the law of the land until a new law supersedes it and becomes into place. That's a, a very clear distinction. Everybody abides by that. And the idea that you would have the competition, Taoiseach, you would publish the names of the successful applicants and then resile from your duty and responsibility, which it is your duty and responsibility, under the law, under the existing act, to appoint those, I think, uh, is wrong. And I think it damages morale which is already quite low within Ungarda Shikana. It creates division, it creates all sorts of issues, you know that. And what will subsequently happen will create further divisiveness and so on. Uh, and all of that needs to be avoided uh, in terms of the best interests of Ungarda Shikana into the future. We've been supportive of the changes. They haven't been commenced. That's not anyone's fault here. It's on the government side that the responsibility to commence legislation resides. And in the interim period, the existing law of the land should apply. As I said, the uh, the reason for setting up the Independent Police Authority is one that you supported. I accept that. I think it's the major significant change in policing in this country since the foundation of the state. 
The reason that we had an employment control framework was because of the poor state of the public finances. We had no Garda Training College. When it, we were able to reopen it, it was 500, now it's 800. And the independent policing authority will be in a position uh, to make its appointments to senior, to senior rank as and from the 31st of December. And I would, I, 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 mean, I, mean, I mean, Deputy Martin, in, in all seriousness, the independent policing authority are well aware as the memo for government said in the summertime, that the responsibility would pass to them um, by or on the 31st of December. And I'm sure they're making arrangements to be in a position to fill senior appointments, as will be their responsibility completely independently uh, very shortly after that date. Now, uh, as I said, the appointments that were made, you, you queried those, and that was your perfect right. And you did also query why these things hadn't moved to a point where the authority were doing it in July. There were a lot of things to be, to be dealt with by then. Uh, but as I said, the, the numbers were, were four appointments to the rank of assistant commissioner, 10 to the rank of chief superintendent, and, 13, uh, and 18 to the rank of superintendent. And they were all made strictly in accordance with the list submitted by the Garda Commissioner on foot of competition held under the Garda Act. So, so on the 31st of December, the uh, Independent Policing Authority take responsibility for these.